This charismatic bird teacher pompously walks with only the tips of the fore and hind toes touching the ground. According to folklore, it belongs to the League of Amaklira, the death-dealing witch doctors, or with the departed spirits. It is associated with misfortune and altered states of consciousness. When alerted, it raises the beak as if in an erection. It deep loud calls, oh, oh. Mm, mm, while simultaneously contracting the body three times and tipping down its neck, inflating a bared, usually sagging, stretchy, fleshy, wrinkled, crimson, red willy wattle hanging from its neck. During mating season, it repeatedly growls, cock, 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 cock. The female joins in and it leads to a duet of rapid mixture of roars and barks. Scrotum totem was created to evoke repulsion as the emblem of a sex-obsessed, confused human being. While performing charismatic contractions at the pulpit, it loudly calls out for the damnation of others. In between dancing on the tips of its toes, it defecates and then dramatically reclines as if in a holy meditation, crowned with a scrotum and matching elbow joints and shoulder pads, and with underarm anus life casts, oversexed with a penis on the back and front. It hisses a duet hymn with an embracing puff adder to emphasize a membership to the League of Death Dealers. <laughs> Emblem of kinship in obscenities vulgarities, smut and vile, impurities, indecencies, filth and foul, easy to expose in others, scary to concede in self. The Joker is a fascinating, captivating centerpiece of a standard deck of cards. It embodies a court jester, a clown, representing chaos, cunning, unpredictability, wit and intelligence. Having ventilated stale air towards religion, does not imply that the object of prejudice, gay people, are innocent, gentle lambs. In fact, they too struggle with a self-created joker god of obsession, a phenomenon linked to males and females of all sexual preferences. Self-proclaimed valid aim of lustful living, only one's own happiness and pleasure through unbridled, uncontrolled, excessive gratification. watches an approaching object while simultaneously scanning the rest of its environment with the other eye. The chameleon with human foreskin eyes approaches its prey with one eye 
while simultaneously scanning for the next one. The chameleon changes its color according to the place. Perceptions about sex and sexuality vary depending on whether you are on your own or with others. Pictures of perfection, proud and pretty, passionate, phallic parfaits on pedestals, succumbed to excess and intemperance, perish into fat, pathetic ducks, pattering, crying, pitiful ponds of tears.
even though we can no more make passionate love in the forest and our daily strolls resemble rusty bicycles in dire need of oil, even though our hands are calloused beyond recognition and our spines have become painful question marks, even though our pleasures are no more of the flesh and we have become dry, shivering wood ready to fall over. Love remains jasmine, perpetually fresh, millions of daisies, forever gentle as the morning, unending like God's kindness. <laughs>